Hi everyone, it's me, Lindsay, with Equip Me OT, here today to talk about wrapping presents, and more specifically, some ways that you can make your life a little easier when wrapping gifts this holiday season. So wrapping gifts can be really burdensome for some folks. If they have to wrap a lot of them, it involves standing and bending and cutting. There's a lot of physical demands, and I want to show you a few excellent things that can make that process much easier. So the first thing I want to talk about is how you set up your space. So a few things you can do that make your life much better are setting up a tabletop that is designated for wrapping. Keeping everything in one place so you're not having to chase it down and retrieve it just makes life so much easier. I love these little um, collapsible tables with the adjustable height because these are great um, for multiple situations, whether you're going to be standing to do the entire process or you're going to be seated for some of the process. This table can adjust to height depending on what you need. I like to stand for it, and when I do stand, I either like to have my shoes on to keep my lower back safe and my feet comfortable, or if I choose not to wear shoes in the house, I can use one of these. This is one of those foam stress-reducing mats, and we keep these in the house. We usually have it near our sink, um, but it works great on hard floors to really take some of that pressure off your feet and low back. And I'm telling you, having this in position has made my life so much more comfortable, especially as I've recovered from a broken foot recently. Having something underfoot makes it a lot better. So if you're gonna be doing this for a little while, set yourself up for comfort, set yourself up for the right height. Okay, now let's dig into some of the products that are on the market. And you may have seen some of these because they've gone viral on social media in recent years. So for example, this first one I'm gonna show is one that I think I've had sent to me maybe a hundred times over the last two years. And this is the Elf. And this is designed to go around your um, paper and then it can actually cut it. So it has a blade inside of it. This is the original design one. So it's designed specifically for this purpose. There's some knockoff ones available now. I do recommend going with the name brand one. It's just a lot sturdier and the, and the blade is a better quality. So look for the Elf brand. Um, the nice thing is it slides over your paper so it keeps the paper all closed and neat when you're not using it. And then when you are using it, you simply pull your paper out. So let's see, we gotta orient it correctly. So you want the blade kind of on the same side as the actual paper roll here so that that's gonna be able to cut. And all you have to do is pull your paper out to whatever size you need. So for folding something small, uh, wrapping something small or big, you just pull out how much you need, theoretically. There we go. As with any of these tools, there's a learning curve to how to use them effectively, but once you get comfortable with them, I guess you really get flying. So, all right, so we're gonna put our paper down, or we're gonna put our object down. We don't need quite that much. So I can go ahead and find my little cutter blade here, and I'm gonna turn this so you can see it on the camera, because this is a little bit of a tricky angle. But you can see the blade now goes between the paper and the roll, and it's very, very sharp. You wanna make sure you're straight. This paper doesn't have lines on it. The ones with lines make it a lot easier, but you just pull through just like that. And you can see, cut it right off the roll, no scissors needed. And then you can pop this back on, keeps your roll all tight. So that's the elf, and I do like this, but I have to show you, I actually like something even better, even easier. This is the Buddy Helper. This guy goes on your table edge and actually holds your paper in place. Let me show you how this works and why I like it so much and why I like it even a little bit more than the Elf. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna clip this guy to the front edge or the side edge of your table, depending on the width of your table. I have to do it on the front edge because it's, my paper roll is a little bit wider. And you're just going to clip it on. Just like that. It has two tape dispensers incorporated onto either end, which is really, really cool, so you're not having to chase down your paper. And now, my paper is going to roll out really, really easily, just like that. I can get it to whatever size I need. So if I'm gonna fold, perhaps wrap this large box, I can pull this out to whatever size I need. And this is very similar to how they used to do it. I remember as a kid seeing them do this at the department store with their huge rolls of paper, which kids these days wouldn't have seen, but this is going to hold your paper in position and it stabilizes it so that you can use a rotary cutter or one of these, these are called vinyl cutters actually that are used for cutting sheets of vinyl. And they have the little blade right in them. They have a lot of different handle designs. This one's got this nice rounded hook handle. I love this one. This was actually the favorite when we were trying it out. Um, it holds really easily. This one's nice and small, almost pencil shaped. Um, also pretty easy to manage. 
The blade on this one wasn't quite as sharp, but you could even use, if you have one of these, I've used these before, this is an electric cutter. So this is the, the um, zip snip, and this one's going to be an electric rotary blade. And you could even use something like with your sewing stuff where you use a rotary cutting tool for that. Just make sure whatever is underneath your table, you don't cut through it. You might have to put a rotary cutting mat underneath it. Whereas with these, they have a little protection. So let me show you how this works. I'm gonna go to this one because this one was my favorite. But now that we're stabilized by this, all I have to do is make sure I've got enough pulled out, lift the edge and pull it through. So, so easy. And look, it just folds it back up out of the way. I can go about wrapping my gift here. I've got all the stuff I need. I cut it too short, but I've got my tape right here. I've got tape on this side if I need it. So easy, so efficient, and you don't have to get the scissors out at all. So if you have trouble with hand dexterity and strength, this setup could be really, really beneficial. I wanted to show you a couple of other options. Some of the things that can be really difficult for people are actually managing the tape. One of the ways that you can have it um, make it a little easier is actually having one of these tape holders. This one's actually by a German brand called Cello Tape, and it just kind of goes onto the fingers like this so that you can have it in one hand and the other hand can be, so it looks like that, goes in the fingers, and then you can have it in one hand, pull your tape out, and work without having to pick it up and set it back down again. Um, I know that Scotch Tape used to have a wearable tape dispenser that actually would cut the tape into designated size strips. That was really, really nice. But as far as I can tell, it's not actively on the market right now, but it's definitely something that I keep my eye out for because it was an awesome product when they were making it. But these types of products do exist as well. Another option you can do if all of this is too much for you or you want to really simplify is going with flat pre-cut sheets. These are something you can order and I'm going to make a link down below where you can find these, but they are pre-cut squares or rectangles of certain sizes of paper for any occasion that are already cut, so all you have to do is take the sheet and wrap. There's no cutting involved at all. Can make it really, really easy. And one of the cool things you can do is if you have a blade like this, these zip snips can cut through multiple layers of paper. So if you need to cut all into a similar size, you can cut through multiple layers of paper when you use a zip snip. So that's another option to make it a little easier. And if all of that is too much, most certainly the easiest way to get through this wrapping season is to transition to using bags. I know from my own grandmother who has really severe tremors, once her tremors got so significant that she could no longer comfortably wrap a gift, she switched over to using gift bags, which is a relatively affordable, much easier to manage for her and her tremors. So you do have options. You can continue to wrap beautiful gifts. And I hope some of these tips and tricks will help you this holiday season. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this was valuable. And as always, if you need more information on how to stay safe and healthy in your home and community, consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.